お前の目に見えていたこの世の全ての虚無。Alright, l what is going on, guys? This is your boy, the Death Smasher, and I am back again with another Should You Summon video because、uh, very soon, in the next couple of days, we are going to be getting the next Mid Month banner, and surprisingly, it's actually going to be. A premium banner, so that's not bad. We're actually going to be getting more characters to pull from tickets, and maybe they'll actually be very nice, highly valued units. And would you look at that? We're getting a brand new Uryu, brand new Renji, which by the way, we have not gotten a Renji since Speed Renji, and a brand new Zalapro. Now, is this a banner worth summoning for? No, no, don't, don't even summon on this banner. Don't summon, don't, don't summon. And I'm gonna get into why. So,、um, first of all,、uh, yeah, of course, like every single other banner that we get, we get the main banner and then we get the individual banners. So,、um, first of all, let's just go over the characters real quick. So,、uh, Uryu, he is a ranged draw attack character with the o r a n k e r Killer ability, and he also has Frenzy with 40% Berserker. He is another speed unit to actually get the、um, strong attack cooldown soul trait to minus 14% and also has guard break and hit hidden enemies. So, overall, really nice in terms of、uh, skills. Renji, mainly normal attack character with the Espada Killer ability. So, already that's good for Espada Week in and of itself. He has Laceration. <clears throat> to be honest, he could have gotten Weakening, but it's okay for what it is. And、uh, yeah, he comes with Flurry, Debilitator, Damage to Lacerated Enemies plus 40%, and his second strong attack actually has a vortex in which it surrounds himself in. Just like Oetsu and Thousand Year Blood War. So it's fun. And he can also unlock the Team Party Heart Attribute Soul Reaper Normal Attack Damage plus 20% skill, which of course is basically an extra 20% bruiser to him, but also gives out a 20% bruiser. To all other heart attribute soul reapers, which is actually pretty good. My Retsu might be good for that, but I don't use her in PvP no more, so <laughs> yeah, pretty good. And Zalapro is a ranged raw attack character with the new Quincy Killer ability. So, this is the first character to actually get Quincy Killers, and you know what? I don't mind because at the end of the day, we are going to be getting some content. With Quincy's. Keep in mind that the upcoming Extreme Co op will actually have Quincy enemies alongside Soul Reapers, so you can actually use z a l a p a r which, oh, I actually don't advise you guys summon and pull for him. I'm gonna get into why. But yeah, he has poison on everything. He can also unlock damage to poisoned enemies plus 20% and Debilitator. The second strong attack is a static vortex. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. 20% Berserker and Frenzy. He is also the first character in a long time to come with the increased. Crystal slash jewel drop soul t r a i t What? I'm sorry, but who asked for this? Who asked for this? Because, like, we have enough crystal slash jewel drop soul t r a i t s and it's like. I don't even run crystal slash jewel links anymore because of the fact that I keep on farming the point event. It's just so pointless. And, of course, he has paralysis in me. Okay, now let us go over、uh, the characters real quick. We'll talk about the banners after I'm done analyzing the characters. So, Uryu. 798 spiritual pressure with a focus of 362. Not bad. Good skills, no havoc, but overall pretty nice.、Uh, Renji, 777 attack with an SP of 628 and a focus of 361. Pretty good. Normal attack damage at 20% with a bruiser of 30%, as well as the heart attribute soul reaper normal attack damage plus 20%. Hold on, how much damage is that? Like, hold on, I need to calculate it. 30 plus 20, 50, okay. This guy has 70% increased bruiser. Okay, I actually like the sound of that. And he also has laceration. Like, upon inflicting laceration, he's actually gonna be quite beefy. And he also comes with strong attack reacher's time of minus 12%, which actually works because you can actually go out of your way to build him up with a hybrid build. I think this Renji is actually pretty good. But honestly, he's not really needed、um, for a spotter killer because we have so many spotter killers right now in the game where it's just. If you were to pull for him and actually put him in your team, he's just gonna slow you down because of the actual laceration. I'm sorry, but like anything that includes laceration 
poison or burn in guild quests is just not good and that is why he should have at least gotten weakening. But um, yeah, and then Zalapado, 794 SP, focus at 360. He does have 8 skills, as you guys can see, with Bruiser 20%, Berserker 20, Devastation plus 40%, Damage to Poison Enemies plus 20, Paralysis Immunity. Honestly, he did not even get Recharge or Havoc, and I'ma be real with you guys, Damage to Poison Enemies plus 20% should be gone, as well as the Paralysis Immunity should be gone, and instead he should have gotten Havoc at 20%, and strong attack recharge because the fact that he has no cooldowns is just gonna slow him down by a lot. But hold on, wait. Why am I saying that this character is not worth summoning for? Oh, okay, hold on. We'll get into the gameplay real soon. So yeah, now that we have actually taken a nice look at the actual character stats and skills, why don't we hop over onto uh, XX Heekin's, um YouTube channel and check out the videos from there. So like, he already has the um, videos up with the gameplays, so it's nice to check out. So shoutouts to XXHeekin for actually having uh, the um, gameplays out for all three of the characters completely leaked. If you guys want to go ahead and check out his channel, do so because the link is going to be in the description below and I actually do recommend you guys are subscribed to his channel. So yeah, without him, I don't think we would even get the gameplays so damn early. It's crazy. But anyways, let's take a look at Uri real quick and uh, look at his gameplay now. I know that on... Um, Soldex's BBS Simulator website, the actual uh, attacks are also on there, but you know what? Why don't we react to the actual gameplay first of all? So let's just start it off. So, okay. Wait, hold on. The quality slightly dropped. Hold on. There we go. And now we should be good to go. So, yeah, we already did take a look at the actual skills, but now let's take a look at the actual gameplay. So, okay. The Nav String, obviously, range collision, not too bad. I mean, he is an SP based character, so it's all right. But now, let us take a look at the actual uh, strong attacks. The animations are nice. Okay, that's a shave, that's pretty bad. Oh, that does seem to be like an 800 radius AoE distance strong attack, ain't it? Hold on, yeah, it is. Okay, and his third is full screen. Okay, this Udu is actually pretty good, but now let's see how the actual first strong attack actually works. Okay, I mean, that wasn't really the best shot, but, like, let's see. Okay. Yo, I need a better look at that first strong attack, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. It's exactly like Nini's. It's literally Nini's first strong attack without Havoc. Okay. And I did say that Nini wasn't as shafted as I thought, so you know what? Ryu is actually a pretty good character. That being said, there are a lot better speed units to actually use like 5th Anniversary. Byakuya, Tenjiro, Ishin, Basby. So getting this Uryu is like, it's not really needed, but he actually does a pretty good job. And since he is a premium unit, we may as well take him because he's actually pretty good despite the Shave SA1 that he actually has. And heck, at the very least, he does have a very good SA2 and a good SA3, which does combat the first strong attack and makes him usable. So, you know We'll take it. And now, um, hold on. We should be getting into the special quite soon, right? Oh yeah, let's take a look at it. Okay. Ooh. That's badass. I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, um, let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at the next gameplay. Alright, so up next is Renji, and oh, I just realized they actually did remake the models for both Renji and Uryu, so that's actually pretty nice, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. I do think Renji is a pretty good character, but in my opinion, he should have at least gone far break. But, you know what? That second strong attack does actually help out for PvE. I don't think he's going to be too great for the but I mean, he'll still work, don't get me wrong. That thing is okay. Oh wait, hold on. I hate YouTube sometimes. There we go. Okay. The naturing is pretty good. Like, sure, you know, long reach. The first is a lunge. Third is the 975 radius AoE in front of them. And then the second front is literally the same as that one. So it's so fun and let's do And the good thing is that he actually has two charge, so you can actually get that second contact back at 8 seconds. It's pretty good in my opinion, because you'll be able to spam that second contact where it's next to nothing. And you can go for Nav slash Trontac Recharge. You know, you guys want to know the bad thing? This guy's a heart unit, and we don't actually have that many uh, attack damage slash Trontac Recharge. 
Do we even have one for heart? I don't even know if I'm being honest. Yeah, other than that, Renji's not too bad if I'm being honest, like, he's pretty good. And the fact that he's being having as a fiend character, we'll take it. We'll take it. It's another Espada killer. It's another good, uh, flurry character. He's not gonna be as broken as, like, Masaki, Okinata, or Grimjo, but you know, it's alright. It's alright. I think he's pretty decent. Let's see the special, because I'm curious to see. Oh. Okay. So he decided to wrap around his Zanpakuto and literally blow himself up with his Chaco. Okay, but the special animation is actually nice as well. So, um, yeah, let's move on to Zalapara. <laughs> um, I already know what the attacks are like, but, um, you know what? I'll say it after, um, we have seen his kid, so let's get right into <laughs> it. Oh, oh, nice, so I'm not gonna cap. Alright, here we are. <laughs> Again, excuse me. That being said, it's weird how they actually made Zalop or a ranged character. It just doesn't really work too much, but... Uh, well, okay. That swing is not too bad. Uh, is that a snake? It's not even a crawling vortex. It doesn't even feel... Okay, his third is full screen. Excuse me. Excuse me, hold on. Excuse me. Um, hold on just a quick second. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you guys the official worst unit of 2021. It's January, and we already secured the spot of the worst character for 2021. <laughs> I'm weak, bruh. Okay, let's get back into the gameplay. So, yeah, the Zalapur is pretty bad. I'm sorry, but, like, as the first ever crazy killer that we even got for this game, we gave him this kind of treatment. Really, Caleb? Really? Like, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to bait players into actually summoning for garbage units? Like... No. 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 At the very least, Anniversary Ulfiora! Sure, he was the first male affiliation killer, but at the very least, he was very usable, where he was actually given a decent hit. <laughs> Lunge on SA1, boost on SA2, charge SA3. This guy! First Quincy killer and was literally kicked <laughs> the same kit as Aura without hazard, without recharge, and his second shot attack ain't even a crawling one. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's decent but not as good as Uryu's or Renji. So on top of making this character bad, they also gave him the worst special <laughs> out of all three. So, um, yeah. Oh, and for those of you guys wanting the full data, here you guys go. His first Tron attack, again, the Shave SA1, same as Nini's without the Havoc. Second Tron attack is the 800 radius AOE distant attack. And then his third Tron attack is full screen. So overall, pretty good. I don't need to speak much about this garbage character, like, honestly. And then Renji, um, yeah. Uh, 375 radius, normal attacking strength, but does have the reach, even though he does have long reach. Lunge on first, second strong attack being the Vortex, it's the same as a Wetsu's. And then his third strong attack is 975 radius in front of him. Very good character. Overall, very good character. But honestly, guys, it's not really worth going in to this main banner just to summon for these characters. I'm being real with you. Uryu is actually the best in banner. Renji is a decent character. There is a lot better heart uh, flurry characters, but honestly, you guys can actually make do with him. And the only reason why you guys would want him is for literally a spot a week. And Zalapro, he serves no value. I'm sorry, but he serves no value. Even if we were to get something where we can actually fight against Quincy mobs, he's just gonna be garbage. <laughs> 
literally just you're just better off using any other unit except Sala, bro. but anyways this main banner uh i'm not gonna lie some of the fillers are actually quite decent but anyways heart human killer retsu pretty good she does have human killer so you are gonna need to transcend her sb to level 10 and link her up with strong attack damage slash strong attack recharge links but once you do that she'll get the job done she has god kit without havoc there isn't really much i gotta say about this retsu Fierce Battle Ichigo, I do want to say that he's actually fallen off thanks to Noel and the uh, Thousand Year Blood Ward Daddy Ichigo. However, he still does have the transformation mechanic, lunge on first, beam on second, and the 975 radius AoE descent in front of him as, as his third, and he's still a pretty good character regardless. Gin Ray, good NAD unit for epic raids. He is ranged, however, he does need a guard break very often with his strong attacks completely slowing him down for when it comes to manual playing since he doesn't have guard break. Ishin garbage, Kisuke uh, decent, even though his main use will pretty much be in epic raids and guild quests. Isane, pretty good character, lunge on first, third strong attack full screen, but the second strong attack does hold her back by a lot since it is a shield move and it doesn't even... Um, boost or heal like it literally does nothing it just gives you barriers to protect yourself against which honestly i'm not a big fan of that and then uh as returning characters for seasonals we actually have the parasol characters and i'm gonna be real with you guys uh, they're not too crazy like um let me just go ahead and go in depth on this uh Hallibel, i want her but i don't really need her and she kind of plays exactly like the texture suite where her first strong attack is basically the same as him, second strong attack is a crawling vortex, and then her third strong attack is full screen, she does have weakening on everything, so yeah. Aizen, I want to say he's very good. I want to say he's very good, but there's just way better uh, flurry characters out there that you can actually use, because the crazy thing about this is that he plays like Wide Zengetsu, where he has the lunge on first, the second strong attack is the same vortex that this Renji has, and then his third strong attack, instead of being that weird SA3 that White Sengetsu has, it's full screen. And he also has 80% bruiser with the 20 nad link. So it's still good, but no flurry. So to make him pretty good, you are going to need to use him in content where it's mainly against Soul Reapers. And you need to get his attack and focus to level 10 in order to actually be very good. And then Sun Sun, she's okay as a unit, but there is just way better holo killers to use for uh, technique because her first strong attack uh, she does have a beam move and then her second strong attack happens to pretty much be the same as Kakao Society Soifon's SA1 which if you guys aren't really familiar it's the projectile 120% mag range collision uh, type of arrow attack it is going to be able to kill mobs that don't have melee guard but once you pretty much hit some mobs where they actually have melee guard the damage is going to be greatly diminished making her strong attack not that good and then her third strong attack is 900 radius a wee in front of her so she's not that great if i'm being honest and i believe she also has no uh status ailments i believe i don't know oh by the way this aizen has paralysis on everything so yeah main banner um it's not too bad but honestly just stay away from it don't don't even summon on this and when it comes to talking about the actual individual banners um they're actually good for the most part but honestly Zalapro, <laughs> he's the first to come out and his banner is already pretty bad because he already has Fierce Battle Aizen, which is trash, Lisa, which is also mediocre, and Nelia, which is also mediocre. And literally, the only unit you actually want to get in this banner is this Desert Society Rukia, just because of the simple fact that she actually has the pot skill. And honestly, I'm going to be real with you guys, I don't blame you guys for wanting to summon on Xylopro's individual banner for this Rukia. I don't blame you guys at all. But limit your orbs because this banner is bad. It's very bad, and Desert Society Rukia will return in the future. Like she's been back in so many banners already. So because she is a seasonal character and not a limited one, you guys can pretty much expect her to come back. Uh, Renji's individual banner, uh, not too bad if I want to say so myself, because we do actually have two really good fillers, being Gin and Izuru. And Power Eisen. Power Eisen, I do want to say he's fallen off by a lot, but his main use right now is pretty much in guild quests. So once you have him 5 out of 5 with 500 SP, he'll actually be a god in there. Hachigen, uh, decent. Same exact um, kit as the uh, Mind Isane with no Berserker. That's all I've got to really say. 
about that, and he is a speed holo character. Desert Society Ichigo, he is a ranged flurry character with the uh, Oronker Killer ability, but no guard break, and he pretty much has the exact same problems as uh, Kirio has, where it's just one good strong attack in which he can actually guard break, and the rest is pretty much just garbage, and his first strong attack literally sends enemies to Kingdom Come. Now, Uryu's individual banner. Uryu's individual banner has to be by far the best individual banner to actually pretty much come out. Not only is he the best in the actual banner, he was blessed with really, 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 really good fillers because we have Desert Society Yoruichi, which by the way, it's a Chronicle Quest bonus for part three. So if you guys want to get more fragments and don't have dupes of Fierce Battle Ichigo or Tag Team Renji, there you guys go. You will actually have yourself a very good bonus for that. In Tech Rukia, she may not have Havoc, but she still has God Kit and has Holo Killer. Literally, that's all I gotta say. And Koga, same exact thing. God Kit, but no Berserker, but actually has Havoc. <laughs> he is still the best Mind Holo Killer to this day, and nobody has actually managed to even surpass this Koga. Maybe Mind Shinji will surpass him for when he gets the Resurrection, but for now, he's definitely the best. In Anniversary Ukiora, still a pretty good uh, no affiliation power character to get to this day, and will actually serve you quite well for no affiliation week. So, um, yeah. Honestly, guys, the main verdict of this banner, just skip, just skip it, and if you guys actually want to even pull for one of these characters, you guys are better off summoning for Uryu's banner, literally. Just skip all these other banners, like, don't even summon on them, and maybe drop, like, a couple steps on Uryu, but yeah. That basically ends the, should you summon, <clears throat> why you should skip, because honestly, Zalopra is pretty bad, Renji, there's just way better, um, heart flurry characters than Uryu. Uryu's good, don't get me wrong. He is actually very good, but there is just overall better speed units. That's all I gotta really say. This Fierce Battle Banner is really underwhelming, and already we have the worst character of 2021. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have actually enjoyed watching it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. And don't forget to also follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description below. So, um, yeah, in terms of actual videos to actually come out with, I am waiting for a friend of mine to uh, get his accessories prepped up so that way I can do a comparison between this Captain Rukia and 5th Anniversary Ichigo because I can't really do it with my account, especially since I have Max Transcended. But I hope you guys do look forward to that. But, um, yeah, this has been your boy, The Death Smasher, and I am officially signing out. Peace out, boys. I will see you guys all in the next one.